knows how you come across somebody once in a while you, you shouldn't have messed with. That's me. Well, I'm back down. I am not an African American. You're Oreo cookie. White on the inside and black on the outside. I don't have an afro. I have an Amerifro. Talking that idiotic stuff you talk about, I will slap you. Go ahead. Make my day. Black at the ace of spades, but 100. 100% American. Heard around the world by everybody and their mama. The Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show. Uniting the races with truth instead of dividing them with lies. We're also rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man. Good morning. Welcome to the show. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. There are a lot of uh, mommy boys out there today. Men who are mommy boys. And it is devastating. I have with me Quayle Wright. She is a writer in the entertainment industry and editor of Juicy Magazine. She wrote a very interesting article, and I want to talk to her, her for a few minutes about relationships and her, her Clutch Magazine article, Do You Baby Your Man? This is what she asking of other women. Quayley, good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you? All is well. Thank you so much for being with me. Thanks for having me. This article, very interesting. You ask, if a man is raised solely by his mother and our grandmother, there's a chance mm-hmm. that he was treated as a little king of the castle and spoil of independence. His meals were always cooked, clothes always washed. And your point about that is what? Well, my point is, and I want to make this clear, it's not to bash men or put men down, but what I'm seeing as a 40-year-old woman, you know, going back through my family and um, a single mom right now, so dating men, I'm finding that they don't want to do anything when it comes to the relationship. They don't want to pull their weight so to speak. And I just find it very disheartening at times when me, I'm a particularly independent woman, so I don't need things done for me. I'm not looking for someone to quote unquote take care of me, but I also want a man who is able to cook dinner if I'm not there or help around the house or just be a man and do his part in a relationship. And sometimes I find that men that I've met have been so babied, as I say in the article, <laughs> by their mothers that they don't know how to function. What, they what, don't know how to. What sort of, what kind of things should a man be doing in a relationship? Uh, I think a man, oh gosh, should be able to know what he wants. And I think sometimes if a man is taken care of to an extreme extent, he has grown up not having to make decisions. Yeah. You know, so I I find that very scary. I was Um, uh, I was thinking about your article and 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 very interesting, and I I really like that you're bringing this out for discussion. Uh, When I was growing up, um, I was raised by my grandparents for the most part. And mm-hmm. I was given. I had. I don't ever remember not having something to do when I was home. You know, even though I grew up on a plantation, I had to go and work the fields and things like that. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I also had to chop wood. You know, you had to do stuff. And right, like it wasn't, <laughs> bring out the garbage. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. It wasn't. You know, some as I got older, every blue moon I would cook something, but that was because I wanted to. And my grandmother or my female cousins would do all that. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that men should be cooking and and cleaning or they should have, while growing up, they should have manly responsibilities? Right, right. right. No, I'm not trying to feminize the man or saying that, you know, they need to be cooking and cleaning all the time. I'm just saying do your fair share. Understand that things are not going to always be laid out on the platter for you. Growing up, I think 
boys and little girls should be having chores and responsibilities just to build character and understand what it means that we live in this house. Like, I have a six-year-old daughter. We live in this house together. If you leave your sneakers around the floor, the house looks a mess. That's right. You don't want, you know, you don't want people coming over and seeing that. So you have a responsibility. Um, So I just think that needs to be encouraged more from from the age of four years old, you know. I agree. I absolutely agree. Mm-hmm. What happened, what happened uh-huh. uh, that mothers, not all, of course, but mothers <laughs> stop training their kids in the right way to go, you know, teaching them to be responsible, clean your room, wash your dish mm-hmm. sometime, you know. What happened that? Why did that change for boys? I don't know. I try to think of it personally, and my mother's going to kill me. (laughs) But in terms of, like, my own family and how my grandparents raised their kids, and I think this is, like, you know, really going into deep history and stuff, but I think to a certain extent, at least personally, my grandparents felt a little guilty and wanted to be able to provide for their kids and wanted them happy and, you know, being compared to the way my grandparents grew up. So their goal was to have kids, and they had three girls and three boys, and they just wanted to make sure everyone was happy and looking good and, you know, like education wasn't a priority, unfortunately, and so they suffered for it. Um, So that's what my experience was that I wouldn't say my grandparents were lazy, but they just wanted everything to go okay so my grandmother would make sure you know, she did everything. Amazing. For her her kids. But it it backfired. You know, like when you do too much for people, I think they, they lean on that. And it makes for a lazy mentality. It does. Do you, know? do you have a website or, or, or information you'd like to give out for the people so they can get in touch with you? Um, I have my own website at quellywright.com, K-W-E-L-I-W-R-I-G-H-T.com. The article I wrote was actually on Clutch Magazine, Um Website. That's another publication that I write for. So the article that we're talking about today is from ClutchMagOnline.com. Do are there women out there who like or love mommy's boys? Uh not that I know of. Usually, with my girlfriends, when we're talking about certain qualities and red flags and the mama's boy kind of thing comes up, it's like, oh, run for the hills. <laughs> <laughs> but I see I see a lot of women with these type mm-hmm. of men, and they somehow or another think that they can repair them or fix them, and they end up just fighting and complaining about the guys for you know as long as they're together. Exactly, that's such a hard lesson to learn, but it's it's real. It's real. I mean, this whole article came up for me. From I was talking to my girlfriend about this guy I was dating and then broke up with, and I told her the story, and she's like, "You have to be kidding me! Like <laughs> those things happen." I went. I was dating this guy. He said he lived alone. All of a sudden, he was living with his mom when it came time, you know, for me to come to his house and. Yeah. I was like, okay. So then he invited me to the Hamptons to his house. I'm putting air quotes up. And so we go to the house, and his mom was there. So I was like, oh, it's your mom's house. He's like, yeah, you know. I'm like, okay, I understand that. I appreciate that. Comfortable. (laughs) It was was interesting because, like, she was cooking dinner for us, and then we went all, like, we went grocery shopping, and the two of them were, like, a couple, and I was standing over to the side, and it just didn't feel right. It yes. felt like they were a couple. And I don't have a problem with a man respecting being close with his mother. But not being a, a couple, though. Not like that. Right. Not shopping. Like, what do yeah. you think of these lemons? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was 
Uh, it was very eye-opening. I had never seen the dynamic that that intertwined. It was just, it was a little it's too weird. much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and I later... Go ahead. I later found out that they had, you know, what I was seeing was very true and that they, you know, were having issues about him breaking away from sort of her rain over his life. So. Yeah. I know many <laughs> cases like that where the boys or, uh, or young men, they try to mm-hmm. break away from mama, but mama won't allow that to happen. She would put mm-hmm. guilt, she would put guilt on them. She would do something mm-hmm. to keep the boys who are now young men around her. Even in some cases when the guys start dating, the mothers don't right. like that. She, she come between his, his woman and right. her, it's a mess. Right. I was reading in my in the article I wrote, some of the comments were saying that the mother keeps the son around as kind of like her man. Yes. You know, nothing yes. crazy going on um, physically or anything like that, but just the, the emotional crutch that, you know, having a male figure in the house provides. And that's sticky because then the man doesn't get, the man doesn't get a chance to grow. I know. I, I'm thinking of a case right now that I'm working with. This woman, she would not train her son in the right way to go, nor the daughter. And the daughter has tried to leave home several times, and she ended up coming back all the time. And you can just see she's unhappy. And the boy is now 18 or 19, he can't. Mm-hmm. He can't hold on to a job. He is becoming a drug dealer and a drug addict. Mm-hmm. And now mm-hmm. the mother acts as though she can't understand what happened. What happened? I did my best. When she really just spoiled the both of them yeah. and didn't require them to be responsible growing up. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 dangerous because then you create this cycle of people not being able to take care of themselves and. It's, you know, it's kind of sad, honestly. What, what is the solution to this? And what is the solution? How do you change this in the few minutes we have left here? Goodness. I mean, my idea is that people just really have to think ahead and not be so selfish about, yes, these are your children and you brought them into the world, but they're also people. And people need survival skills and people need um, to be able to stand on their own and being in a relationship with a guy who doesn't want to do anything because he's been spoiled so much that he can't contribute to an adult relationship is not attractive. I noticed too that the best way to provide for your children, one of the best ways is to teach them to be able to provide for themselves when they become an adult. If you really love Mm -hmm. your children, that's what you would do as well. Yes, yes. That's that's key to being a parent, I think. I also noticed that young men today who are raised in this manner, not only are they incapable of working or providing for themselves, they don't think normally. You know, they're not like normal Mm -hmm. thinking people. They act retarded. In the mm-hmm. way that they think about things, they can't carry a real conversation. They don't know how to do anything. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I've just it's, never seen anything like this in my whole life. Yeah, it's really a crutch, and it's um, scary to me because I have a daughter who, you know, <laughs> is going to eventually end up in a relationship. Uh-huh. I would hope, and I would hope it's with a healthy guy who, you know can take care of himself. Very, very, very interesting article. Thank you so much for putting it out there. Are you getting good responses back from it? Yeah, most of the responses have been positive, and actually people are saying that it's not just in the black community, it's in the Asian community, it's in the Italian community, so... Really? You know, yeah, yeah, pretty prevalent. Amazing. Thank you so much, and I appreciate what you're doing out there. God bless you. Thank you. God All bless right. you, too. All right. 888 Back in a moment.